place recommended to me by a friend of mine. This place is called Shimen. And behind me is the Taipei Rainbow Street sign. It's really popular. Photo op. I got a couple pictures earlier. But this place, immediately as I got here, the atmosphere of the environment has completely changed. It's completely hipstered out. So we're gonna just walk through real quick. It's not as humid as it was in the Datong district, but it's a little cooler here. It looks like a gaming area. I don't know what to expect, but it's pretty cool. So we're gonna walk through right now. Like I said, this place is really cool. Everything catches my eyes real quick. Everything catches my attention. There's like glasses, there's cell phone stuff, there's gaming, there's an H&M behind me. Let me see these glasses actually, hold on. How's this look? All right. Dang, Riz on fleek, look at that. <laughs> this is cool. The old district where I'm staying, there was a bunch of anime flyers, underground card clubs, whatever. But here it's just in your face. There's a sensory overload almost because there's a lot of colors, there's a lot of animated characters everywhere. I could compare it to Akihabara in Japan. This is what it feels like and this is really cool. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. There's four or five different directions on where to go and it just looks endless. I'm not sure which way to go. But what I am sure of is I need something to drink and I want to see if I can get a new shirt. Like, look at this place. This is wild. <laughs> look at that guy. This is crazy. Oh my God, look at these awesome luggage tags. These are so cool. This one's the coolest. This is the coolest. These are all really cool. Luggage, I don't have that actually. This might be kind of cool. This is a hundred. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I feel like you can find anything here. Luggage tag, food, snacks, market, games, everything cell phone. I'm trying to find a shirt, like a market for shirt for men. Let me see if I can find something here. There's even a tax refund spot right here. Wow, this place has everything. Okay guys, if you don't know me by now, I love anything mango. This right here, mango ice just caught my eye, so I'm gonna try it right now. Instead of the shaved mango ice, which I've kind of already had in Korea, I'm actually gonna try the fried chicken. So I didn't get a chance to try the fried chicken in Korea, but let's see how Taiwanese fried chicken compares, all right? I got the fried chicken and that was just 100 NTD, not bad, very fair. And then uh, once it's ready, we'll pick up right here. Since I'm here, I might as well just get the mango shaved ice too, or the smoothie, I'm gonna just do that. So I'm gonna have the fried chicken and the mango shaved ice. <laughs> I just, since I'm already here, why not? Can I get the mango shaved ice? This is, how much? 19. 90. Yo, he's about to make this mango smoothie for me. I cannot wait. Oh my god, it's hot. Whoa, it's hot and it's big. He's almost done with the smoothie. Yo, this is massive, man. This is crazy. Like, look at my hand. I'm a grown man. And look how big this piece of chicken is. This is insane. I'm gonna try this right now. You know how I am about vlogging and food. I only can use one hand, so I'm gonna just give this a try, and then we'll I'll finish the rest off camera. All right? So here we go. Mm. 
Mmm. Crispy, delicious delight. Mmm. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. I'm still full from the fried chicken, but no worries. We are now at the next location. Guys, this is Liberty Square. It's a little bit late now because we are here after six. So I don't know where the front entrance is, but we're going to find out together. But I am here now. Let's try and see if we can get a peek inside this grand location. All right believe I found the place so this is Liberty Square this is definitely a place you need to have checked off on your bucket list unfortunately I did not get here early enough to see it during the day because I can tell it's pretty massive pretty fabulous at right now even at night it looks gorgeous but I'm sure during the day it, it, it tells a different story but that's it right here this place is pretty much uh, a location within the city that covers about 240,000 square meters in Taipei, uh, Zhongzheng district. It's a place where people do mass gatherings here. And it was completed in 1970. That's, that's it right there. That's the big guy. And then there's uh, the theater right over there. And right now, if you're actually thinking like, what's all this stuff behind me? Why is there so many like things going on? There's actually, a, there's like a concert happening or like a theater, some type of performance is happening right now. So there's like a bunch of like high schoolers, you know, dancing and whatnot. Um, I don't know. I think, I think there's a show about to happen, but uh, maybe it's going to happen in the next couple of days, but I won't be here. So this is what's pretty much Liberty Square right now. If I had more time, I would be here another day during the day, but I don't. So it is what it is. This is pretty much it. We're going to head to the last place of the night, and that is the Elephant Mountain. So we can get an overlook view of Taipei once again, but at night. I haven't even started hiking and I'm sweating like crazy. But this is probably the end of the... But we're getting towards the end of the video. I'm wrapping up. Just, just work with me. All right, so guys, behind me is the Elephant Mountain Hike Trail. Very easy to get here. Just Google Maps, Subway. It's going to tell you how to get here. This is the entrance of what it looks like. And this is about 20 minutes going up. It's not that bad. It's a little after 7.30 right now. Normally people want to be here towards sunset, but now we are here to kind of just end the day. First impressions, Taipei, Taiwan, and get it over with, guys. So I'm going to take you to the top. We're going to see what it looks like. And we're going to close it out up there, all right? Let's go. That's the name of the place, too. So we're about 50 meters away. Let's keep going. All right, there goes the elephants. The place is Mount Shengshen. Can't see it from here, but this is what it looks like. I couldn't find it, but now it's right here. So we're gonna go all the way up. All right, well guys, I'm at the very top of Elephant Mountain. And if I must say the hike was not that bad, I've had worse, but it is kind of in the mid level. I'm sweating like crazy and this is because I've been on my feet since morning so I am a little extra tired but because of my lens is not the best in uh, low lighting so I really can't really give you I really can't give you the best view of what I'm seeing with my own eyes uh, I will try as best to kind of brighten up the exposure in post but uh, I'm just gonna end it right here guys with the view Thank you. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much for joining me on my first day in Taiwan. This is the first impressions, Taipei, Taiwan. We are doing a backpack tour through Southeast Asia. So I got a few more videos here. I only have like four days left in tai Taiwan and I'm off to Vietnam, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. You know how I do. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take it easy. Peace.